So it's there's essentially a blizzard outside. Okay, not entirely sure if you could call this a full-on blizzard, but there's definitely it's foggy. There's mist. There's been mist this morning. Snow, rain. It's essentially we've technically had half of the different types of weather in the span of about six hours here. Jeez. Uh, so, anyways, we're heading down. Uh, the city have opened up the iced over river for today only, and there's going to be essentially a bit of a car show on there and a small race. So, essentially, they've tested, they've got DOT on the ice, and I was reading about this this morning. They've tested it, it's safe enough to drive on, but they've got police at the entrance because they can only have a certain amount of people on the river at a time, essentially, so it doesn't crack and we all fall in. So, um, it's going to be pretty exciting. We've got our uh, yellow dodge out there. We had a couple parts changed recently, um, but it's good to go now. And we're going to bring it down onto the river, hopefully do a bit of racing. It is limited, or they said that the race was limited to a speed of 60 miles an hour. If you're going over 60 miles an hour, you would be fined. Let's see how this goes, I guess. I've never really raced on a nice river before, so let's see how it goes. We've done a bit of testing on the track um, with the water run, but I guess we'll see. It's, it's going to be a bit different, so I'm not expecting to drive too fast, to be fair. Let's just get our jacket here and head outside. Okay, driving conditions not the best. You can still see though, so it's not too bad. Uh, it was worse last year, so that's fine. All right, we're just going to close this and head over to my car there. Okay, headlights on, fog lights on, and let's just head over there. So we've got enough gas, so that's good. Let's just be nice and cautious as we're driving over there. Yeah, there's a lot of snow on the on-ramp over to Riverside, so we'll just take um, the bit more scenic way around the city here. Just keeping our speed nice and slow. We have been advised to, well, slow down on the roads. So I'm definitely going to keep at least like maybe 20 miles an hour under the speed limit. Just don't want to be surprised by any cars coming out of nowhere. There's a lot of ice on the road here today. And yeah, this could get pretty dangerous if we do start to speed up. So if everyone's driving nice and slow, then there should be no problems whatsoever here. So there's the city. That's a lot of fog. So last year we did have... Probably a bit more fog than this, but it's still kind of surreal seeing all of this here. Like, was that a car? No, that was a car on the ice over river. It's honestly quite dangerous. Let's just wait here for this. Uh, is that a jeep to come past? Yeah, we'll let them come past. Let's just keep this nice and slow. You know, we, we don't need to we don't need to rush anywhere at the moment. Let's just keep this nice and slow here. Um, so there is the on ramp or the on and off ramp to the river. So that's where you can kind of come in. So. We'll go ahead, we'll put our uh, warning lights on there as we're slowing down there, and we'll just come up. Got our fog lights on. So that's the Iced Over River. Uh, hello there, officer. Oh, hello there, deputy, as I should say. Didn't know they'd need identification, but that's fine. I keep my driving license in here anyways. Uh, there you go, we'll just pass out the window. Okay, thank you. Read the rules again. Yeah, drive safe. Okay, understand. So we're allowed on to the ice there. Oh, okay, nice and slippery. Let's just go ahead. Keep my uh, keep my foot hovering over the brake there, nice and slow. We'll keep this in first gear for the moment here. Follow my truck, max speed, 20 miles an hour. Okay, so this was planned to go ahead. They don't want to cancel this because I guess that would be bad PR. But at the same time, they've got to add a lot more security measures to ensure everyone's safe. So we've got police over there. I do believe they're actually speed trapping to make sure that no one's speeding on the ice. Kind of makes sense, to be fair. Um, anyways, here we go. So let's just follow the truck nice and steadily. We've got our hazard lights on there as well for any vehicles behind us. And let's just follow nice and slowly. I think we're staying to the right side of the river there. Jeez, this is, this is actually surreal. Driving on ice. Never done this before. Uh, I'm not sure if I get the opportunity to do it again, at least this year. Um, but if they do this again next year, that's going to be crazy cool so uh we can see up to the dot truck i'd say that's about 50 meters or so then after that everything just fades into the white abyss almost we've got some officers sitting at the side there i'm guessing they're just in there to prevent anyone from uh, knocking into the uh sewage pipes that are kind of sticking out there because you know this river isn't uh, actually built to be driven on um so there we go so i think we're just going to go and line up for the moment here uh, just stack our cars almost. It's got a bit of a car show going on here. Uh, that is, I think that's the exact same color as my uh, Dodge there. Um, I'm okay. Uh, no, I don't think I need gas. Just refueled. So thank you for the offer anyways. Uh, we've got someone over here brought their Audi. They brought an Audi on the ice. That is heavy. You can actually see it tilting there. Um, that's pretty cool. I did always want one of these. Really good family SUV, but at the same time, I don't really need one. 
But it's a nice car. Nice car overall. We've got a Dodge over here. Bullhorn. That's one of the newer models, I believe. Um, what's this? What is this? I've never seen this. In a bright pink as well. Never seen this car before. What? It's like a limited edition. Doesn't have any... They've removed the licensing and branding from it. Toyota MR2. Okay. Never seen one of those before. Oh, pretty cool. Uh, then we've got the Bronco. Someone, someone's decided to bring the Bronco on the ice. Um, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I, I like the car. Used to have one of those a couple of years back. Different model, but same sort of thing. So essentially everyone here is an experienced driver. You had to sign up in advance, but uh, it's going to be a good event. It's going to be a good event. We've got experienced drivers only, so I'm guessing some of these are past race drivers or at least have some sort of qualification um, and just look at that river. You can barely see past the bridge. I don't need my vehicle moved back. Uh, yes. Uh, would you like it in between the Bronco and the Mustang? I, if the Bronco moves over, I think I can squeeze it in there. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. Right, so I think they're just lining everyone up for the races. This has been uh, kind of organized before, so... Gosh, this is tight. That's tight, that's tight. Okay, squeeze in between there. Okay, that should be... That should be fine. Oh, okay. Coming to a stop there. I think three or four waves of races because you can't have too many... Uh, okay, no worries. You can't have too many people racing at once because it's you know, only so wide. The river's only so wide. Okay, so uh, I'm wondering. There's three cars about to race. Wondering how they're all going to fit through the bridge together. I'm trying to plan out kind of my race strategy here just before we do actually do anything. It's Again, it's not a fast race. We are only limited to, I think, three gears. I haven't been informed, but that's the sort of uh, idea I'm getting here. Okay, I think the races are out to go. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, that dodge has gone. Right, yeah, they just jumped the start. Okay, okay, they're, they're coming back. They realized the mistake. Apparently, we need to stay in our car. Okay, and they are off. So, the first three races are off. So, apparently, we're in the third group, and they are off. Surprisingly, surprisingly enough, the Audi SUV got a much better start. We're going to move up. I'm going to stay to this side. I feel like this side is a bigger, bigger part of the bridge there. Uh, so, when my hands go down, go. All right. Okay, I understand, I understand. Uh, let's go ahead, enable. We're going to go into neutral. Okay, first gear. Right, we're ready. Oh, we're rolling. Okay. Essentially, now it's just an anticipation game and trying to predict when they will put their hands down. Um, any any moment now, essentially. And it's just right on the throttle. Jeez. Wow, they really are making us wait here. Uh, so we're just sitting here. Engine's running. And we are off. That was quite unexpected, but I did get a good start. I did get a good start, in fact. Ah, oh, come on, come on. I'm struggling to find the traction here. Oh, gosh! Oh, my goodness me. The vehicle flipped over. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad. I am so, so glad I had a roll cage in there. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's just go and sit down somewhere over on the side. Uh, maybe on the rocks. That's not going to be as cold there. Bit cold underfoot. I'm very, very glad I had a uh, roll cage installed in the vehicle and the proper safety belts and everything here. Let's just go and take a seat. Hey, you okay? Hey, you, you, you okay? How are you doing? Anything hurts? It's mainly my leg and my neck. Uh, yeah, it's mainly my leg and my neck here. Goodness me, that was a hard, hard hit and... Did we roll over there? I think we did roll over. It all kind of just blurred out and... Couldn't really see much. Okay, right, an ambulance has arrived. Let me actually get off this. This is I'm slipping down a bit. Uh sorry, could you help me get up there? I yeah, my leg. Could you help me get up there, please? Right, we're just going to sit up here. It's gonna be a bit colder because of the snow, but at least I won't be sliding down onto the ice. There we go. We can actually sit down properly down here. Jeez, right, so I, I do want to go over and check on the other drivers. So there's two other drivers in my I guess you could call it category. I'm not feeling too bad, in all fairness. Like, well, compared to what happened, it's not too bad here. Uh, it's just mainly a bit of pain in my neck and my leg. Mm, yeah, my arm's fine. I took my hands off the steering wheel before that. Uh, yeah, I did say something about my leg. I think it's my left leg. It's kind of hard to identify the pain with it being so cold, but... Um, yeah, my left leg, that was... I can move my head fine. Yeah, it's just my neck... It was quite stiff after that. I kind of remember, I do believe my vehicle, I'm not sure if it flipped over or just kind of rolled. Turn to the right with your neck, okay? Um, yeah, either way, that was, yeah. How, 
How did that happen? I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a dash cam or anything, so I guess I'll just have to ask other people who saw that and recorded, so. It was going so well. I know we were kind of back behind, but I feel like I was catching up. Uh, could you try to turn to left? Sure, 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 sure. I do have to want to go and check on the other drivers. There's two drivers, one over there and one over there. I do want to check both of them. Well, one of them's walking, the other's lying down. I do hope they're okay. I really do so. So I guess that's that's kind of it. My car, pretty bad to be fair. My car is pretty bad. There's no way I'm kind of driving easily out of that. There goes the grey Dodge being towed now. Uh, yeah, you can check my reflexes. I think that's when they... Uh, they hit you with a hammer or something on your leg. If I'm remembering that right, I haven't been to the doctors in a while, so uh, I think that, it, oh yeah, that is, that's definitely what they're doing. Really unfortunate. I'm glad that everyone's okay, but at the same time, I, I probably shouldn't have come down here in the first place. Like, it's it's a bad idea to race on ice, even driving at slower speed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do go and consider subscribing to help with the channel a lot. Maz, thanks for having taken part in today's video. If you'd like to be in future videos, join the Discord service. The link's in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.